Okay then. I guess it brought us straight to the North Crater. Yeah, about that. Um... Let's see, that's the first one our itinerary. Uh... Be right back! And we're back! That is a loud door. I just wanted to swap out one of my party members. Um... Mm-hmm. Okay, then. So... So she has resorted to trying to legally... Shanghai all of our materia. <laughs> oh, that's a good point, actually. Right. So... So... Um... Well, I need to double-check something. Right. Red is in my party. Right now, instead of Barrett. Um... Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Uh... Yeah, let's get out of here. A little bit disappointed you didn't show me your level, to be honest. Um... Right, so... Oh yeah, we have the rockets now. We don't seem to go any faster, though. I mean, it looks cool, but... Yeah, we're totally the same speed as before. So, anyway... I want to head... here! Oh yeah, I still need to do the Choco stuff as well. Well, next episode, I guess. We are going to Cosmo Canyon. Uh... oh. Yeah, we better do that. All the way at the top. I'd still like to know how Red is cl climbs that ladder. I mean, I guess, to I guess in fairness, he could just jump, probably. He seems like the sort who can jump like that. But since he's with us, the implication is that he's also climbing the ladder. This ladder, right here. Well, whatever, it's not important, I guess. Grandfather! Oh! Oh! He just climbed the ladder! That is so weird. I mean, I guess it is possible. I've seen dogs... Cl I have seen dogs climb ladders in real life. It is totally doable. But... Still... Still kind of just looks strange? And presumably not... Uh, not easy for the animal in question. Mm-hmm. It's the duty of Seto's son to guard his, this canyon and her people. Hmm. Listen to the warble of the newborn chocobos. Look away to the internal flow of time, which is far greater than the span of a human life. Says the 300-year-old ghost man. It will teach you more than staying here in the valley. What you will see will eventually become part of the life stream. For my children, and for your children. So please, go with Cloud, and use your eyes and your ears. <laughs> Never know. Take this with you. I think it'll look good on you now. I should be doing Gallifo's voice. But it's not happening. Did he just die? Wow. Okay, that's grim. Uh, what? Okay. I'm not sure whether Red is telling the truth or not. 
But we got the limited moon. Hmm. I think he probably is dead. Which is really sad. He was a cool old, old guy. Even if he was a 300 year old ghost man. Uh, so anyway. That thing we got is, of course, Red's ultimate weapon. And this one is MP-based, and Sid's one is MP-based. Barret's is not MP-based. Fortunately, I had a few percentages left of not being of unsureness. <laughs> Barret's actually scales based on the total AP of all of the material he has equipped it to the weapon. Uh, Enemy skill, Master Materia, and one other one don't count. Right, so as long as I'm here, I kind of want to uh, check out the the Master, or the Huge Materias. Not that I can do anything with them right now, but you know, it's, it, it feels like the thing to do. I want to see, really, I just want to see if the s Summon Materia is there right now. <laughs> Oi. Uh, I believe... well, yeah, the old man's definitely not here anymore. There we go. Up we go. Still no red one. It emitted a gentle glow. No kidding. Mm hmm. I can only assume this one is supposed to double as the summon one. It just seems odd to me because it's blue. Like, surely it should be red, right? Ah, anyway. Anyway. Um, let me think. What's next? I know what's next. Uh, I think I'm. Yeah, I'll just meet you outside to save, save myself a minute of talking. And we're back. That was fast. I did say it would be. Uh, our next stop is right over here. Niflheim! This one is really interesting to me, because I didn't know about it until a couple weeks ago. So, you know, everyone involved will be experiencing something a bit new here. Uh, Although, in fairness, I didn't know the details of this scene, uh, because, well, because I I know it from other media. Uh, but I don't think I've ever seen it within Final Fantasy VII before. So, you know, this should be quite interesting. We just need to climb down here. Fight some pumpkin heads. Of course. Uh... And... What's the last thing? Right. And the obvious thing. Walk to the end of the hallway. Hmm... I really- Oh, I did put cu the new cover on him. Huh. Well, okay then. Right, so... We don't care about Vincent's room. Can we even go in there? I don't know. But this is where we want to be. G gasp! It's... Cloud! And Zack? Um... I guess he's supposed to be holding a tray? He's sort of just doing the zombie walk, though. Oh, I guess he let Zack out, and then Zack is a super soldier! So, you know, his conscience, conscious, despite being immersed in a massive quantity of Mako, Mako and also probably Genova cells. 
Basically, he went through the same thing Cloud did, only he's made of stronger stuff. Well, a little bit. Dragon Cloud right out of out of, of the rebuilt Niflheim. <laughs> Set up Cloud in a new soldier uniform, I think. Why are you going to Midgar, actually? I guess your girlfriend is in Midgar. Plus, also, you probably want to get revenge on Hojo. Um... Because, as we all know, Hojo is the cause of everything bad that ever happened in Final Fantasy VII. Uh, close to it. Hmm. <laughs> he is actually talking about Aerith. Uh, that's great. No, wait, I can totally live with my girlfriend, but not my girlfriend's mother. That might be a little bit off. No matter what I do, I need some money first. Want to start a business? Now what could we do? I know, mercenary work! Old guy makes a compelling argument. And he's doing crunches. Seriously, this is really Zack's thing. If you don't believe me, just play Crisis Core. Oi. Yep, so mercenary. Zack may, may be smart, maybe, but he's possibly not the best listener. <laughs> Just kidding. I won't leave you hanging like that, oh buddy old pal. Mm-hmm. Almost there. Oh wait, no, we're being shot at. And it looks like Migor is just over that hill. Oh. Okay, they shot Zack a lot. Just leave him here. He's gonna die anyway. Or will he? Obviously not. <laughs> oh, it's raining now. I, at least I think that's rain. And then Clouds breaks out of his catatonic state, but goes kind of crazy. Is it me, or does that sector not seem to have a plate on it? Hmm. That was a really interesting scene. So yeah, all of that stuff, I've seen it from Crisis Core. Uh, 
you actually you play through most of that in Crisis Core. Oh, you only get one guess for how Crisis Core ends. Uh, anyway. <laughs> like I said, that's the first time I've ever seen that scene in Final Fantasy VII, though. So I think it was really interesting to watch. Uh, now, what do I have next? Um... Well, let's look at my list. Oh, yeah, that'll be interesting. Uh, but also probably better for next time. So, victory music! Ha! Ah, no. Um, so, on that note, I think this is a good place to stop off. Join me next time when we do some chocobo stuff and also a secret surprise! Maybe. It, it, it's dependent on whether or not I can go back to an area because I totally missed something. Uh, so we'll see how that works out. In any case, until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!